We tried talking to some people living in the six settlements in Chichichiro and Yarujanja districts, now under total lockdown, to get their take on the decision that was implemented on Thursday night. We have accepted the decision well because we must protect ourselves and others, and so we must remain in lockdown for those days or until other directives are given. Sometimes in the evenings we see people who don't seem to understand the importance of this and we talk to them. Some have come around while others do not. Regardless, we're going to put in a lot of effort in enforcing this and even call in security organs if necessary. Indeed, security organs like the National Police have moved in to ensure that the total lockdown is respected in the affected settlements and no one is allowed to move around unless they have a valid reason. Those we meet who clearly don't understand the gravity of the situation are given explanations as to why this is necessary and that they should respect the directives issued. Anyone found to be willfully breaking the total lockdown is punished. But there's no reason to be punished for something like this. They should respect the lockdown and allow health personnel to determine whether or not the threat has passed and provide advice on how people should conduct themselves. Those under total lockdown in the settlements that have been found to be in need of assistance have already begun receiving it, and the rest of the city is being urged not to become complacent. When the entire city is put under total lockdown, it negatively affects the whole country. People understand this, protecting life in the city and the country in general. I'm asking people not in those settlements to protect themselves as well. Everybody knows the risks and how to mitigate them. The only problem is that they're not implementing the required measures. I believe the only reason people are not wearing their face masks properly or practicing social distancing all the time is because they refuse to see the importance of doing so. I therefore ask Kigali residents to step up their efforts to protect themselves and respect the measures in place and most importantly look out for each other. The settlements in two of Kigali's districts are to remain under lockdown for the next 15 days after the COVID-19 virus was found among a number of its residents. The settlements are Kamabuye, Zuba, Nyanyeri, Rugano in Chuchuturo district, and Kadobogo and Jisenga in Nyarujanje district.